Sometimes men get up in the middle of the night and they're peeing a lot and they come to a urologist and you do an examination and they tell you, the stink all the prostate's enlarged. What's that all about? Every man over the age of 30 starts getting an enlarged prostate. It depends on the age. But it's we normal. Are not, it's normal and we are not going to escape developing an enlarged prostate. As we get older, it's part of the aging. We lose the hair, we get a little bit fatter, and we get the large prostate, and we pee slower. Men hate to hear the word that it's a process of aging. However, this is what happens. As we get older, the prostate gets larger. As the prostate gets larger, you figure the prostate is like a donut. And it's around the urethra, which is the tube that goes between the bladder and the outside of the penis. And so it gets enlarged and interferes with the It gets the enlarged air. and it chokes the urethra. It's like having a donut and the hole gets smaller every time. So the prostate can be very large. The meat of the donut, the dough could be very much enlarged without choking the hole. But most of the time, when the dough gets bigger, it starts choking the hole. And as it chokes the hole, it gives you something which is called the bladder outlet obstruction. Because the roof of the bladder is the floor of the the roof of the prostate is the floor of the bladder. So in other words, it's interfering with the flow when it gets a certain size. Is that correct? It interferes with the flow. So you start. So you it need gives a lot you, of pressure. You need a lot of pressure to let a little flow pass. Right. There? It gives you two types of symptoms. One is going to be the irritative symptoms. That is going to be urinating a lot, frequency. You get urgency. You're getting up in the middle of the night which you didn't get up before. However, getting up in the middle of the night is not only due to the prostate. It also has to do with the aging process. And one of the things that we try to tell our patients is if you don't want to get up in the middle of the night, the first thing you try to do is don't drink any fluids for four hours before you go to bed. So you have less usually, in the bladder. Okay. That usually is going to cut down on the nocturia, which in other words means getting up at night. Is there any foods in the diet you should avoid? Anything that has the sweet foods, any one of the foods that has tremendous amount of water will usually give you more fluids and it will give you much more urine volume and you're going to have to get up at night. But however, if you don't eat or drink for four hours before you go to bed, you should usually cut down about 50% of the getting up at night.